All right, welcome back, guys. Before we get into the series, I do hope you are multi-twitching it up. If you're not, uh, there's a lot of other good streams going on being cast in English right now. You can take your train muting and unmuting the streams or whatever you need to do to watch. But don't forget about StarCraft, uh, or sorry, Winter StarCraft's channel, or StarCraft Winter. Uh, <laughs> Winter's channel. I don't even know why you throw that there's StarCraft in there. Uh, Pewee, and of course, above all else, the mainstream. Lots of other foreign language casters are covering this too. You can find all the information on Team Liquid. And of course, if any of our mods want to link other people's streams, by all means, feel free. Because there's a lot of different games going on right now. But thank you for choosing this one. Spawning here in the bottom right corner of the map is going to be Axiom Esports Red Zerg Player Impact. Never left Oz, the Blue Terran at CM Storm's Pulse. Okay, so this is one where we can possibly see a little bit of abuse from both players. Uh, this is a map where we've definitely seen tank players keen on taking earlier thirds on, but at the same time, we're tank pushes or uh, just Hellbats and Hellions and all these wonderful things. But it's Pults. So as much as I want to talk about all these other cool things happening, chances are he's just going to play about as standard as it gets, with the only weirdness being a third CC early. Yeah. <clears throat> Impact has a big opportunity here to get good scouting where he has not so much done in the last two games. Barely serving that first game, taking too much damage in that last game to the Banshees. If you park one overload to the left and one overload to the right of Paul's base, you're almost guaranteed to see a third. You know, and if you don't see a third, then that's when you actually sacrifice, you know, suicide the overlord in and try and see something. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I would really love to see that, um, so that he is, you know, totally prepared. I think in the first game he did actually scout the Banshees, but maybe like a little bit too late, like the Banshee was already on the way. I'm not sure, but the point is that seems to be where he's really faltering. It's not so much in the macro, he's doing great in the macro, but it's like, oh, Banshees. Yeah, it's weird too because it's not like Banshees are this new unit introduced in the last month that got some big, like, buff through a patch. I mean, Hellion Banshee's been around since Wings of Liberty, for goodness sake. It is a little bit odd to see it falter the way it's been going because it's not like Pult is, uh, you know, there's no patch Terran happening here, right? It's just Hellions and Banshees getting hit in the early game and Impact uh, just suffering for it. I think too, unlike the last map, one of the frustrating things is defending this third is not going to be uh, so so linear. There's a lot of different ways to, to get in, and quite frankly, away from the natural. Oh, yeah, King Sage is kind of impacts map right now. I mean, he's got to be. What is it? Let's just pick. Oh, it's Vito's. It's Vito's. It's Vito's. It's always okay. Gonna be Vito's. Yeah. So that's got to be a good feeling for impacts, you know, losing that second game, being like, oh, that was, that was kind of silly. Banshees, please. And they'd be like, oh, oh. Seichong's the last map. I actually got a pretty decent shot here. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a finicky map when it comes to getting past thirds for Terran, especially. Um, you know, it's some it's sometimes as funny as it is to write off a planetary fortress as like an impossible to take base. That doesn't seem to happen as much as you would think for a play. Uh, you know, if planetary goes down, it's not like they're gonna waste thousands of bailings and resources going into it. They'll just attack you somewhere else. Um, so yeah, whether it's the fourth over here or the fourth in the middle of the map, uh, we rarely see Terran players take a fourth over here to the left. Either way, uh, for Bolt, I don't think he's really thinking about that at the moment. He's probably concerned on these Hellions and Banshees that seem to be on the way. Takes the second gas once again, and I mean, can we blame him? It's it's like, even though he didn't win the first game with it, the Hellion Banshee push still worked. Uh, game number two obviously won the game, um, not necessarily with it, but once again, it did work. So these openers for Bolt proven to be strong, proving to be a Big pain in the ass for impact. Yeah. <clears throat> I think Paul's going to really have to start off this game strong, which is what he's looking to do with the Banshees. Otherwise, impact is going to kind of start rolling, you know, get the mutas, start counterattacking, hopefully. Uh, of course, he'll want to tear down those rocks. I think impact is the type to go for that base off to the right. Well, I'm looking at this faster layout impact this time around, and I'm wondering, oh. uh, it's only three gas, it's not quite four. I wonder if he opens with like uh, two base mutas. I mean, it's that gotta is be one... two base mutas. Yeah, it's one way to definitely deal with what's been coming, but uh, no, he throws on a bailing nest. Well, you would usually throw on a bailing nest in um, emergency defense of a two base spire. Oh, there we go. Yeah, fourth, fourth gas only taken. I'm, I'm yeah. trying to make sense of like, yeah, four gases immediately your mind clicks spire, but three is like such a weird number. Yeah, well, it used to be like I swear, I swear we on dumb guys. Like, a year ago, it was, like, four down immediately, and it was, like, so obvious. But now, like, I guess, like, the timings have been, like, you know, just a bit, like, clean cut Refined. kind of thing. And it's, like, 
Yeah, so like, okay, 30 seconds before my, my lair finishes, I get my, my guys or something like that, so... Yeah, that's just... yeah. It's a baneling nest. He sees the spire. It was a pretty... That was a lucky scan for Paul, right? <laughs> like, I'm lucky. It was a weird place to put the spire. Y yeah, that too. But I mean, you know, they're supposed to scan the main, not the natural. Thing is, is that if Paul sees the natural has a baneling nest, and also Scouts has no third, that might also be able to tell him, like, just barely enough to even, like, at least then he would scan the main looking for a spire, but... No. Anyways, got lucky on the first time, and now he'll know for sure. Uh, pretty much don't really do anything until, like, like a minute from when you scout it. You know, so I'll have to finish, I'll have to get the mutas, and then you can start thinking about putting the engineering or missile turrets down. Yeah. I mean, I think one of the big scouts there, too, was not just the spire. Like, let's just see the spire gun unscouted. He said the spore crawler in the mineral line. Like, immediately he's like, okay, <laughs> this guy's figured out I'm onto banshees. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, just choose just not to invest in them, but that Viking comes out the old the yeah. old classic Polt Viking. I, uh, I was wondering if he really was going to go for Banshees though. I mean, he did get the Tech Lab, which is always like, but then he got Sim, and it was because the the gas just seemed like slightly too late. I, I did not pay close enough attention to when he put the second one down. I was like, maybe he's going to go for the Polt Viking, but Ooh. then Impact was going for a two base layer, and he had to really pay attention to that. This? this? Yeah, he's put the second bunker down ahead, behind, way behind this, so he had a pretty good idea this was going to happen, but uh, the bailings might have been better off going on top of the uh, supply deep, as I wanted to just oh, the supply. Go for the SCVs! Oh, well, too late. All sorts of awkward here. He's still trying to repair that bunker. SCVs going to save the day, and uh, for impact, the nice thing is like, okay, that sucked, but that wasn't the craziest investment in the world. I mean, his third was still late. What else was he going to do with a handful of links that he had made earlier for hellings that never came, right? So... That could have been more dedicated, it could have been a bigger waste, maybe it did more damage in another life, but as far as disengaging at this junction, I think he's okay. Uh, does need to get the drone count up though, sitting on 59, or sorry, 49 even, wow, on three bases, not going to cut it going to the late game. Anyway. <laughs> not very strong at all. No, and we're getting to that point too where he's not going to be able to afford to make drones for much longer either. Pult's going to start pushing, Pult's going to start pressuring, and yeah. whatever drones he has is what he's going to be stuck with. I, you know, that push might have looked a little odd, the one with the uh, the attack with the Banelings. The mutas aren't going to find a hole here either. Uh, but it's actually a very, like, smart and effective, like, attack to do with two-base mutas that we've been seeing from basically every single two-base muta TDZ. Uh, and the idea, of course, is that that's around the time they're going to get their third, around 10 minutes. So their Marines might just be stuck out there without medevacs as they're going to pop out in, like, a couple of seconds. And you just surround and you kill. And it, like, really, like, uh, snowballs from there. We've passed a couple of games like that just, like, recently, really. Um, but of course, Polt, he was pretty defensive. He got two bunkers, he knew it was coming. It was a good read from him as well. Um, but game's not over in either way. Uh, Polt actually a little late in his armory, and that's starting to too quite yet. Well, it was uh, denied there for a small amount of time, but you're right, like it should have been started uh, by now. Uh, the SCV building kept getting picked up by the mutants, but uh, in the meantime, these links, I thought they had just completely given up after that first pushback, but we go back for a little bit of blood. Sadly, this is too clear. Uh, but another low, so the Mutas might be able to swing in and execute a little bit later, but turret positioning are quite nice out of bolts. Uh, of course, if there's 20 meters, they don't care about one turret like this, but the low amounts now certainly do, so nice uh, nice to turn, nice investment, and very nice placement. Yeah, here's another thing that he did, you know, that attack, again, not doing a whole lot, but it was an attack into Muter Harass and Ling Harass. So Pult still has not been able to push out despite having two medevacs, which is usually like, in every matchup, two medevacs, go, because I can get out of it. Oh, the Bailing system did a lot of damage! Oh, Pult didn't notice! Oh, Pult! Oh, 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 oh. oh Inlings! You know, we, we've How? seen Impact try and pull off like, lots of Bailing hits in the past, through not just this game, but previous series, and I've never seen only two Bailings be that effective before, but... Yeah, very uh, surprising. Yeah, takes out the Mules, I think that was a nice nice hit. Uh, fourth base on the way, uh, Impact used to take the one here on the far left side. Figured I'd point it out before you did, but... <laughs> still, I, I, I'm still Check. not convinced this is the best one. Uh, either way, uh, Muta count has flocked. Uh, it's a, it was a murder of Mutas, I think, right? Uh, a little bit higher than the original 60 ads. So tries to dive on top of this turret. Pult's a little bit late to pull for the repair, so natural base is going to have to be evacuated. Pult? He's an interesting uh, you know, player. He does play more passive, more cautious than you know maybe other players would be. Like, I don't know, Ryong or someone. Uh, but when it comes to like, defending against Mutas, like, especially on King Sejong, I really like it when he just says, like kind of not really gives up, but is like, okay, it's gonna be like really hard to defend the mutas too. So he gets a really fast fourth, and he just plays off the fourth and gets like that really scary super army at the end. When he starts pushing like this, I'm actually a little scared for Pult. Impact is really great at counterattacking, and Pult, 
he's not just attacking, he's not getting a foothold. So he's attacking in the middle of, like, nowhere, and Impact's not worried, so he's just going to counterattack, and Pult's not going to do anything to any bases whatsoever. Yeah, and the, the thing is, like, too, with the, the layout of King Sejong, like, that natural is way closer than any other map when it comes to getting uh, connections to your computers. I'm going to dive on top of this turret. This kind of opens up. Oh, he's actually going to get the reactor. Uh, yeah, production, of course, is really yeah. annoying to replace once it gets... Uh, Pick it up for one on the starport, quite nasty too. But yo, Impact's up in supply still. This is kind of a big deal. Not, it's not by much. Okay, sure, but he's still up in supply. This isn't something that you typically find coming like you know 16 minutes here. Um, Bolt's been trading out decently, but he'll swamp this army. There's a couple of yeah. Just gonna figure everything out. Oh, Bolt's uh, oh, yeah, good deal, good deal. Drop in the main is actually do a lot of damage as they are in pretty good position. And I don't think there's any. Oh, he catches everything else on yeah, the map. He's, he's got to get another spawning pool down like right away if he can't clean this up. This is a really big thing to lose, but looks like he will save us with the Ling reinforcement. Always a little bit funny. You got to gauge whether it'll work or not because the the choke behind the mineral alliance, of course. But uh, impacts two two finish up a little bit shortly here. Uh, Pulse once again not being too shy about his three three upgrades. No, no, he's on he is on top of that of that first game. Uh, fourth is on the way, but I think later than. It's not a late fourth, it really isn't, but just like in the way that maybe he would have liked to play the game uh, on King Sejong specifically. Uh, I just wish he would play like a lot more passive. Uh, again, the Mew is doing a lot of damage, killing a lot of SCVs, got a couple of reactors. Uh, you know, at one point he might look at these engineering bases and be like, that's my next target. So wait for the Marines to leave and then go in there. Well, Pult predicting where the Mutas are heading next. Nice job with the Thor positioning and Marine Stim to uh, respond. Impact kind of getting caught in a bit of an awkward spot. We saw this once before. Kind of happening again. He knows he can't clump up too heavily because there's the threat of Thors around, but uh, yeah, he's using this time to. Whoa, there's a lot of bane links. <laughs> yeah, it uh, is. He's gonna, gonna... He was going to try and roll some in, but uh, it's something pretty awkward. Yeah, he's getting Burrow as well, which I think is awesome. Impact is the type of guy, like, I don't know what it is. He'll get Burrow and he'll do Burrowed Banelings, but they never seem to do anything. So it's like, oh yeah, he does do that, doesn't he? So he'll probably try again, and I'll probably put him in the positions that like are just barely not close enough to killing a gigantic part of the Marine Army. Just you watch. Well, what of mine's uh, going to be a big threat. There's a lot of them. You can't ignore this. Now, with the amount of Banelings Impact has, he can't afford a clump. Like, you don't want to give away all of this for nothing, so... Rolling to the front lines with these reinforcements, he also rolls... Oh my god, so oh, many Banelings oh. in the Pulse! Third while this goes on! He might just try to kill the Command Center if he's lucky! Ah, uh, no, he's not going to quite be able to do that, but he will take out a good chunk of the Marines. So this kills reinforcements, it kills SCVs. Ling's going to flood him behind this. Meanwhile, the attack on the front line is coming on creep. This is a very dangerous move to make for Impact, who's got so many Banelings still remaining. 36! You know, it might not be 30 Mutalists, but it's 30 plus Banelings. Yeah. Impact has really been able to avoid a head-on engagement. That is mostly why his mutas have been able to get up to this count. Otherwise, Thor's at least start to, to call them a little bit. So, oh. 18, not the biggest threat. You know, normally supply depots going down is kind of laughable at best, but that actually supply block pulled pretty hardcore. Yeah. Uh, this Ling attack seems to do more than those 20-plus uh, mailings did. Wow. It was cool. It was a show of force. The it, of was, it was like... This is how much money I have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Thor count here is not super high. If you take out the Marines, though, that's what, of course, would be the true fear. He's going to kill both the Thors. Oh, my God. Impact is really starting to spiral out of control in this game. Pulse still got a sizable army to fight with, but there's so many Banelings here. I, I, oh, my God. Even the best splits aren't going to stop this. There's so many Banelings. In fact, there's enough for every Marine painting them green right now. Lifts the command center says this isn't worth trying to hold on to. Mutal is starting to spiral into this. As the Thors go down, there's not a whole lot left for impact, though. Uh, I don't know if we'll push the win off this, but Ling's uh, burrowed here at the third, ready to pounce if SCVs get transferred there. Fourth base completely denied at this point. And uh, for the we sake of Pult, he's like on one base mining. We have a Widowmine kill that Pult has just forgotten on the other side of the map, but is catching reinforcements every now and again. 3-3 uh, three, three is done for Pult. I don't know when... I think I finished for that fight, so that, that wasn't enough to help him. So Impact uh, it is worth noting it was quite a costly engagement there, but he actually takes the last couple of SCVs that were at this base on Burrows. Uh, Pult's going to respond to this though, not ignore it. Meanwhile, middle of the map, Banelings are going to try and get a connection to these Marines. There's a lot of Mutalists to cover this too. Splits every which way, but the Mutalists pick off the Mutalists that splits. Ah, oh, but he's still going to bleed these out because 3-3 three, three Marines are very, very volatile. And Impact's yeah. focus here is perhaps not the greatest. So, 
what looked like should have been an easy hold ends up costing quite a few mule lists at the end of the day. Holy moly, 279 Zergs have died so far this game. We should just make it a rule that we have to say holy moly in, in Axiom games. It's holy moly. Holy moly! S slip it in there. Uh, but finally, the Widow Mine field has been cleared up. It's been taken out in like, a couple of lings every now and again. Not actually the biggest deal, but the that is... Holy yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Uh, derailed there for a little bit, but back on course. We do have a lot of creep that was cleared up here, so as we notice, Impact kind of being like, oh, wait, why? I was able to engage here earlier. Why can't I do this now? Oh, right, there's no creep spread. <laughs> so, uh, Pult, you know, I don't know if it just took him 22 minutes to start warming up or whatever, but we started seeing some really good splits in the last few minutes of the game specifically. Uh, so as far as these engagements go, like, he's definitely got the control to dance, but it doesn't take a lot of Zerglings to get by here to drive SCVs off the mineral line yet again. No Adreno glands. Impact. Yo, you know what's cool? If you could like get a get an upgrade that burrowed zerglings could like morph into banelings while burrowed. Ah yes. Almost as good as when they could move while burrowed. Remember <laughs> that? <laughs> Actually, okay. If we're gonna maybe I'll take my point back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoever thought that was a good idea. The the ultra's burrow charge was actually a really cool idea. Like, I, that a was lot more cool. cool than balance, but yeah. Yeah, it kept on bugging. I feel like more than balance here, like this thing is too no, buggy. No, like this is too buggy, it has too many problems. <laughs> like, it would kill units inside of medevac, they're like, what? Okay, scratch this. <laughs> Stuff. They're not gonna try. It's the ultimate shark attack, yo. <laughs> Dive out of the water, jump up at the medevac. It's like the Sharknado, like, you know, thing where, like, the. the no, no, it wasn't Sharknado. It was like a Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus or whatever, where it like comes out of the water and attacks the airplane. Sci-fi shows. There's so the many best. dumb movies. I don't know what any of them are called, yo. Uh, <laughs> but okay, yo, Impact is gone for Kitan. It's plating. I didn't realize he finally got the high attack. He's getting that Ultra Scavern out, so uh, he's not gonna be sitting on two-two forever. In fact, his three-three completed a little bit ago. So it's it's good to see him fighting on like even footing once again. Uh, the biggest difference, of course, for upgrades, guys, ba it's still gonna be two banelings killing each marine. Like, there's that doesn't change no matter what your upgrades are, but it's mostly for the lings that actually be able to fight. Uh, okay, so this was meant to go for SCVs, but it's gonna find a lot of very awkward marines. Sadly, they're not gonna get too many connects here. Showing what splitting can do. Pull Ew, two more banelings! It's the magic number, zombie group! Uh, this opens up the fourth though, and Impact, Impact, he doesn't have quite a bank to do it, and of course there's a Widowmine build, so definitely don't do it, but uh, I was going to suggest maybe just exploding on the planetary, because that's not to, rather wisely I would say. It takes uh, like 20 banelings to do that though, I mean it's a really hard choice to make. Yeah, we have to be prepared for the counterattack, we also have to have the bank to replenish them, which is yeah, yeah, somewhat of a bank, but not the biggest. Finally got a little bit of crew spread out, but it was getting cleaned up. Uh, Zerglings did run by and burrow themselves here. Fighting for some sneak attacks a little bit later on. Uh, Bailey count at the moment, 54! <laughs> it was like, a Bailey breach marine and then some. It be a little bit hard to take a bad engagement here, but... Uh, Ling's kind of... Oh, that's kind of interesting, it burrows half of them. Kind of like a diversionary tactic. Yeah, a weird. Is oh, Impact does take that base off to the right, thank god. Can we make a poll? Like, will Pult's third ever mine out? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Such a nuisance. Uh, these links actually do slip by to the main. You're gonna start chipping away some of the reactors. Kind of a nice move here. Meanwhile, in the middle of the map, gets just a couple of medevacs with these mutas. Not too bad. Reactors are good. Kind of wish you would have gone for the missile turrets. No, um, cool. If you would actually burrow a zergling, where the reactor is supposed to go down. <laughs> Never seen that happen. That'd be so annoying. I mean, you could just lift up the racks, but it's still annoying. Uh, but 26 more banelings on the way, as if 50 wasn't enough, like, is is Impact currently embracing the spirit of Hyun? He's on 76 banelings! So well, 76 40. banelings are gonna kill the Thors, they're gonna kill the Planetary Fortress! 76 banelings oh. are gonna kill whatever the hell they want! There we go, this is what has been missing for the last, like, 8 oh minutes. God. Impact did stop harassing with the mutas, but oh decides that now it's a good time. So we go. Is God, he gonna breach 100? No, 78 plus 20, no. not quite. He's, he's a little shy. Just tell him to make four more. <laughs> oh god, 96 families. Now here's the worst part about this. This is such an expensive investment from Impact. 
Like, you could technically lose these to, like, three bad one of my shots. I know. I just, <laughs> I don't even, I'm not even cheering, really, but that would just be so awesome to see. I know. It's like, as much as this is a cool move and I impact, it gets shut down possibly easily. But at the same time, that would take some really lazy control. And if there's one thing impact showing us this game, he's not slacking here in the control. Uh, but still, 96 Banelings is 96 Banelings, guys. And oh, my God. You know, Pult is... <laughs> this is... <laughs> Like an A, a move? I, Look at the, okay. They see me rolling. Late. Um, Interesting to see spine crawlers coming down here. I thought this was going to be for some over uh, supply, but it's yeah. actually a straight up defense here at the, at the, at the, at the six. Well, oh, well, okay. Well, it, 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 about that later on. The Bailings are finally getting in here, and the Widowmines are not getting the hits they need. Oh my god. Oh, attack the Overseers. It's just too many banelings! <laughs> it actually does oh think like 96 banelings. But... 10 ultras. Oh my god. Okay, so 10 ultras is gonna take some time to build, but. Ah. Pult doesn't have money to work with. Keep in mind, like, he's been denied off his third for so many times this game. He's basically been one base mining off this planetary. I mean, Pult doesn't have any money to work with. He's down on 81 supply. The banelings did the job they needed to. They, they crippled Pult to the point where the ultras are gonna be able to execute the rest. I was going to talk about how, you know, Impact is making spine colors because Pult has stabilized <laughs> nope. and he might start dropping nope. everywhere. And then he pushed on a nope. creep, which is like 96 banelings. <laughs> 96 banelings! Alright, so a really cool, a very flashy way to win a game, but, um, yeah, the Ultras come in for the killing blow. They're fully upgraded. Okay, just play it in 3 3. Pult has a couple of Marines around this planetary. Some Woodlings going off here on Overseers. I mean,. That's it. That's all she wrote. The Mutalists will be able to carry whatever the Ultras don't. GG. Ladies and gentlemen, Impact is going to take the series 2-1. to one. And he will win out versus Pulse. I got, I got a